guys, she is here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. So today's video, I'm testing out one dollar makeup product, and it's really crazy. I'm so excited about that. So guys, I didn't buy any foundation because I didn't found any, but I did buy a bunch of makeup product, one dollar each product, and it's so crazy. I just want to try it. So guys, if you want to see more videos, just subscribe to my channel. So guys, the first product I'm going to talk about is the concealer. This one is Smack and Mirrors Concealer and honestly, it was the only color in the dollar store, but it's looking a little bit yellow, a little bit, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Just let's see. Like I told you guys, it's really yellow. It's not look my color at all. I'm all the time just choosing um, not too light color because then it's look bad. So guys, I just apply the concealer and honestly, it just look banana. It looks too yellow on my face. It's not even look good, but I just went to see the results. So I'm just starting to blend that. So it's really set good on the face. I'm really surprised right now because you can see the difference between this and this. It's totally removed the, the circles under the eyes. So I'm really surprised. Yeah, it's really, really good, I think. But it's a little bit too white, too much light color. Like, my color is medium, it's not too light. I don't like to use in too light concealer because then it's look white for all over my face. So I really recommend to use just in medium color, but it depends what is your what is your skin color. I didn't find any powder foundation in the dollar store, so I'm just using in my foundation. And now it's definitely look better and it's not too shiny. I like the way it's my hair, like you can see the difference. But this concealer, it's really good. It just remove all the circles under my eyes and it's nice. I really, really recommend this concealer. I did buy powder foundation, but this one is for the face, just to set my foundation good. And it's definitely look tan more than I need. It just look too much brown, but I'm going to use it anyway. I think it's not my color at all, but let's try it. This one is the bronzer. I just like the way it's look and it's it's really look nice. But it's not like warm brown bronzer and this one it just look more too light and it can be very nice. But just let's go away.
So like I told you, it's definitely not look like warm brown bronzer, but it's really nice. You just look too much light. I don't see any pigment color and you just need to put a lot. So you just need to put a lot, then you can see the color because right now you just look too much light. So the blush is looking like too pinky. Um, this one is smoke and mirrors blush and it just looks so pinky. I'm afraid to look like too childish. I just don't like it, but let's see how it's look. Maybe I'll be surprised, I don't know. Okay, so it's definitely pink. It's, no, this one, it just look terrible. I'm sorry, but I don't want to put, I don't want to apply too much from this because it just look so bad. If I will put more, it's just going to look like too chibish, like, I don't know, too pink on my face. Uh, no, no, this one is, I'm not recommending this at all because I just like to buy a blush that they have a little bit shimmery color and then just pink color. Maybe it can be uh, involved with some brown color and then it looks good. But I just apply very little bit like you can see because I'm really afraid to look chilly so I would just apply very little bit. So this blush I'm not highly recommend at all so this is, is the highlighter and the same company smoke and mirrors and but it's look less than a shimmer more like a bronzer like very shimmery bronzer because it's look like deep one this one is golden i didn't find any color except from that and really afraid yeah it's definitely golden and it's definitely not going to look good on my skin i'm just going to try anyway i buy this brush from one dollar store and it's look nice that's why So yeah, it's definitely look gold. I just don't like gold shimmer. I prefer to wear some light shimmer, like white or pink, ultra shimmer, then it's gonna be better. I don't know, I just don't think, I just don't think this one is a good shimmer because it's not so good on, your, on the face. But the brush is pretty good, I have to say. I don't see what the company or what the number, I just bought this for 90 cent store, from the dollar store. And it's really, really nice. But the shimmer is definitely not good. It just look too much brown. Like it's look like I just took some shimmer bronzer and it just put here. And it's definitely not supposed to look like that. So the next step I'm using in the eyeshadow. This one is the same company. It's Smoke and Mirrors. This one is Love Nude Palette. And honestly, the color here, it's look really, really nice. Like, I like the nudes. I like this one. I really like, like, shimmer colors. And it's look pretty nice. I like the blue one. This one is look pretty good, but it depends how it's set on my eyes. So just let's try them. So I already applied um, base eyeshadow. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little bit from the white color. It's look like banana a little bit. It does for base for the high shadow. So I'm going to use in this color and that one. I'm going to mix them a little bit. I just like to make sometimes beige, like pink beige and brown. It can mix like a nice way of like too much. <laughs> I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Then it's look better. Like it's too much eyeshadow. So look, it's look really nice. I like to color so much. I like matte color. I'm going to put it together with shimmery color and then it's going to be very nice. Yeah. It's look pretty nice to be honest. It's look like pretty nice. This one, it's really good. You can save money and not to buy like high shadow palette in 50 or 60 dollars because not everybody can afford that. So this one is gonna be so nice. Just put here a lot as well. So I'm just blend it a little bit. Then it's look better. Yeah, this one I really, really like. It looks so nice. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to apply a little bit base here in the highlight. Just with my finger. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And uh, I'm going to apply this shimmery color here. And it just looks so nice. I just like to mix matte and shimmer in the highlight together and then it looks so good. I hope it's gonna look so good. Just using it with my finger. Oh wow, that looks pretty good. I like it. That looks pretty nice. I really, really like the colors. So nice. I like it so much. It just can be so nice, you know, it's only one dollar, so for one dollar, it's really worth it. It's really nothing. And it's really set so good on my highs. So this one is definitely highly recommend. It's so good. Like I told you, this one is Love Nude Palette Outshadow and it's... The company is Smoke and Mirrors and it's really really nice. I think everything here is Smoke and Mirrors but some of the product is really bad, some of the product is really good. So the next product is um, Volumin Superstar Highlighter and this one is L'Oreal. I just found it the, right there in the dollar store and this one is L'Oreal Paris. You know everybody know L'Oreal but it's definitely drugstore makeup so it's really surprised me that I found it here 
but I just like to say that I really like this one like it's not like a brush but it's more like a pencil so I really like it so I'm just starting to apply the eyeliner So, I have to say something. The highlighter is not so black. Yeah, it's not so black. It's nice, but it's not like, I don't know, I love L'Oreal product. I really love, and it's really nice to wear them for heavy day, and they have like a, great product but this one it's not it's definitely not good because it's naturally black I love Helena to be bold and black and this one is just you no know, it's look like it's used or something But it's nice. It's nice for one dollar product. It's pretty nice. Guys, the next product is mascara, and this one is again Smart and Mirrors mascara. And let's see. All right. So, oh my God, it looks too thick mascara. It's um, I need to be very careful with this because I have like natural eyelashes very very long eyelashes and maybe it could be like too much bold but I'm going to try and I'm going to apply very very little bit and not too much because I don't want to look like parts or something wow it's definitely a lot but I'm scared. I don't like to use in thick mascara because then I have like little black pieces in my eyelashes and it just look bad and it's look bletchy. Okay, just going to apply a little bit. Oh my god. It's look like too much. So this mascara it can be good for someone else like but not for me because i have like a natural long eyelashes and for me it's not good because i just like to use in thin mascara and not in this thick mascara and no it's not good for those who ask me if i'm using eyelashes like fake eyelashes or eyelashes extensions so no and that's why in every makeup tutorial that I'm doing I'm not applying like a fake eyelashes so what I'm doing is just go hover with the mascara and put something on top because I don't like it to be too much and you know I'm blessed I have a natural and eyelashes so I don't need these things. Here a little bit. Alright. This one it's here just put hobo from what I need. But oh yeah. I just put here too much. But again, the mascara it depends if you have like short eyelashes and you want your eyelashes to be bold and long and voluming so maybe it's the right mascara for you but definitely not for me because it's not good for me so this one is the lip liner and the colors look good so just let's try this it just look bold in the color like pink Okay, 
it's pretty nice color and it's just very very good lip liner So yeah, I can say this one is a very nice lip liner. I just didn't see any shade of it. But it just looked like nude color, like burgundy color. It's look nice. This one is look good. But I am afraid about this. So this one is supposed to be like lip gloss, matte liquid lip gloss. This one is Mac and Mirrors, the same company. And it's look new about. It's look warm. It's look deep warm. I just, I accept to see something like nude color, but this one is look very deep warm. Yeah, it's very deep and it's not even match to the lip liner. So if you mix these colors together, it does look like more purple, like not brown. I don't know. They say this one is going to be matte liquid glass and it's definitely not matte. It's more shiny. And, but it's nice. Um, not highly recommend, maybe about that one, it can be like so nice, but if I have the color of the, of the, of the lip pencil, then it could be nice, but that's why it's nice, but not more than that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have, you know what to do, just thumbs up. And guys, just before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye guys, see you next videos.